Okay, we're gonna show you here how to add, remove, or edit a run page on a Gen 4 or G5 display. Today we're gonna be using a 4600 Gen 4 display. But to add a run page for a implement or something else, or just to change a page, but today I'm gonna be adding one for an implement, a narrow seater, a 1910. So here's kind of the default ones, what we got right now. But if we want to add one, we go to Menu, Applications, Layout Manager, All Run Pages, Create New Run Page. I like starting out by naming it. So name it something you can come back to. So if you're going to add a page for a planner, name it 1720, 1770NT. Name it something that means something to it. Today, I'm going to name it 1910, where it's a... 1910 air seater. Hit OK. We're going to add a module. You can add different modules. What you see here, there's a lot of different options underneath each one of these, but my intentions are setting up a run page for an air seater. So ISO bus VT. You can scroll down through there. There's a lot of different things hook that can be used. But what I'm going to use here, I want I like this one right here. So we've got that. At the top, we're going to add some blockage now. Applications. ISO bus VT. I'm going to scroll down. So we're looking for blockage. You can see kind of little previews right here. And it's saying right now this won't fit. Because it's going to take up that much region or that much area of the screen. It won't fit. Okay, here's blockage monitor. Kind of a half screen. That's what I'm wanting to use. So we could add some more, but that'll be the portion where I'll come back and show you how to edit it. So we've got that created. It's unused right now. So we're going to add that to the run page set. Default run pages, there's only two. So we're going to go to edit. Include additional run page. 1910. Hit save. Hit save. Hit your X, hit your X. Now if you come over there, there it is. So we've got our air cart, we've got our relative flow blockage, but now we can come back in here and add some more modules in this portion of the screen. So if we go to menu, applications, layout manager, all run pages, there's our 1910, we're gonna edit it by clicking on the pencil. We're gonna go add a module. So now we'd like to see where we've been going through the field, seeing that coverage map. So applications, mapping. So that won't fit. So you can kind of see the ones that'll fit here. And there's one that takes up about nine squares. There's six squares. Well, let's go back up. Let's pick this one here takes up a pretty good size and you can see what you're doing so we've got that now so we've still got some area here well let's add some scv so you can see if you got your fan on yeah you can see it on the air cart page but what's your flow set at do you want to be able to change it so we're going to find the scv that the fans hooked up to scv three so we've added it now i want to change well, let's add the up and down, raise and lower SCV. So we can add that as well. We can drag those around, pick on the ones you want, edit those. Still got a little bit. Want to see how much area we've covered, acres. So add module, applications. Come down here under work totals. So you got field totals. So if you want to add that. So it kind of shows you how many acres you've done within that field, that client farm field. Can we fit anything else in there? I believe that's kind of all we can fit. Let's look here. In the way of work data. Yep, that's about it. If you add cameras, I mean, there's a lot of different things that you can add in here. Another handy one you might could add is under fields and boundaries you can get it where you can change the field name so we got fields so save 
So now we've edited that. Just keep on hitting your X. So here's the field that we're on, the north place. There's how many acres we've done. You touch that, change your fan speed, flow, times. Now that was raising lower, but it's down here for fan right there. But So now we've added a run page. We've edited the run page. Now let's say we want to get rid of it. We've unhooked the air seeder. So if you go back in there to menu, applications, layout manager, go to default run pages, hit the little pencil, go to the air cart, and hit the trash can there, kind of the remove. Doesn't really delete it, just removes it from the set, kind of like you can see there. Hit save, so you can see, it's still there. So you can add multiple run pages. I mean, if you're wanting to edit these right here, these default ones, you can't edit those, but they can be copied. So if you duplicate that, so now you've got a duplicate guidance screen. So you can go in there and start deleting things out, adding what you want. You just have to give it a different name. So we're going to cancel out of that. Now if we go back, we've got our just our default tractor run page and our guidance. That's all we have. Thank you.